The timing on this book arriving couldn't have been better planned. Just last Saturday, I made a, uh, a video on the differences between imagination and vision. And this really is the book of visions uh, for our, I was going to say generation, but our era. Um, Carl Jung's Liber Novus, or better known as the Red Book. This is the full facsimile of uh, of Carl Jung's Liber Novus. Uh, it is enormous, absolutely enormous. Um, I'll I'll open it up for you in a couple of seconds. Um, I just first of all, oh, it's heavy as well. It's about five kilos. Uh, there we go. The uh, the front is. Um, uh, let me see uh, if I can get some light on that and maybe get my camera to focus. There we go. It's a nice cloth cover. And the um, the dust cover itself is... Um, I, I, to, to be honest with you, I think that for the price they could have done better. Uh, I think it was just just a, uh, uh, a decision. It's um, just very, very glossy um, paper. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, not the thickest, it, although it is relatively thick, uh, and you can see it's just been folded over uh, down the edges like that. Um, yep. So there we go. Let me just uh, show you by comparison what previously was my largest book in my collection. Let's line those up, and you'll be able to see that it's even bigger. Um, there we go. Yeah, I think it's about 40, 48 centimeters. Yeah, really a monster. Right. So let me, uh, sorry about the creaking chair there. Uh, let me show you what you get inside. Uh, I imagine many of you watching already know what you get inside, but um, let me nevertheless share a little bit of this with you. It's it's glorious. It's really, really beautiful. Um, there we go. Right. So, um, yep, this is a little introduction by Carl Jung himself explaining uh, why this is uh, a more important work than any previous work that he's done. Uh, Carl Jung uh, put this book together uh, towards the end of his life when he had uh, done all the theory and, uh, yeah, was basically ready to start delving into his own um levels of uh, of mind and uh, so yeah so he spent days and days um in in deep meditation uh and yeah then reported on what he found uh in the deeper levels of his mind absolutely beautiful uh, calligraphy this very, very well-known first page. I'm not going to go through the entire book with you. But I just want to give you an idea of uh, how important this clearly was to him. The fact that he uh, put this much effort into writing the whole thing out um, by hand in, um, in, in, well, in, in Gothic for the most, well, for um, at least for, for the parts of, in script, of scripture. Uh, and um, and yes, with a with a nice uh, a nice calli calligraphic is that, is that a word uh, a style for for the rest of the text there and these really nice illuminated head letters. This is not the kind of thing that you do when you're typing out your your usual uh, 
report for work. Right? This is clearly a very personal, important work for him. So these, I'm just showing you some of the very small pictures here, but uh, then the further we get in, by the way, those of you who are uh, worried at this point that uh, uh, what you're seeing is either in Latin or in German, um, there is a full transcription in the back of the book. I'll address that in a couple of moments. I've just bought myself, or rather uh, ordered for myself, a uh, calligraphy pen. So uh, this is this is quite exciting for me. I'll be showing you the. Um, the, well, my, my first um, attempt at calligraphy, I'm, I'm sure, within the next few weeks. There we go. So, um, yeah, as we go in, uh, the images become more and more uh, striking and less and less concrete, although it doesn't go all all the way, we start getting more and more of these larger full page images. <clears throat> Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I, I, I think honestly, this, uh, this would uh, uh, wouldn't look out of place next to some of the most beautiful illuminated medieval texts. It's absolutely gorgeous. Clearly, a a, a very important work, right? Uh, and certainly one that will be. Um, uh, thought of as a classic uh, in in future centuries i'm certain i i'm guessing the way we think about uh, the book of kells today right possibly possibly even more so very very evocative imagery Um, one of the um, uh, reviewers, um, yeah. Anyway, um, this is something that I read about this book before before picking it up. I I've wanted this book for the best part of the of ten years now, um, and uh, yeah. What, what, one of the things that I read about it was that um, the images strike so hard that um, most people who pick the book up for the first time just um, are just uh, amazed by the pictures and then don't ever go into the text. So I want to avoid that mistake at all cost. Um, the pictures certainly are very, very striking and the uh, the, the beauty of the the facsimile itself is um and it's 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 a it's a real <laughs> uh it's a treasure it's a treasure is what it is um be under no illusion it's uh, it comes at a treasure's price as well uh, the, uh, the the book itself is incredibly expensive i was just very lucky to pick it up uh, with a 40% reduction which still was a lot of money. So um, here we come to the um, to the second half of the book. Little little more than a second half of the book, where we get a, uh, a um, an introduction, a uh, uh, just just an essay on um, on the Liber Novus. Go. So this goes on for for some pages. Um, Uh, 
here, skipping about four or five pages at a time here. And then there's a full transcription. And the transcription is, uh, yeah, it's, it's three tone. The um, titles are in blue. Um, and then the illuminated words are in red. Wherever there's Latin, you have the, uh, yeah, the Latin and then the English translation underneath. Uh, and then the reference of the uh, location that this, that each paragraph uh, comes from, and then footnotes. Now, um, there is also available a reader's edition of the Liber Novus, which I may also get um, just for, uh, for, for readability, right? The, uh, the reader's edition is approximately this size. Uh, and so a much more wieldy uh, book to read. Alternatively, I might simply get the Kindle edition uh, as, a, as an accompaniment um, since, uh, since, yeah, I, I can't really read this in bed. <laughs> it's, it's just gigantic. Although sitting at the table right now is, it's a real luxury to have this in front of me and, uh, and a real pleasure to read. Um, although it's just not always possible. I have a family and uh, there are dinners to be eaten. <laughs> there we go. So there, that's, a, that's a, a general idea of, uh, of of what you get inside the book. Um, I'm, I'm very, very excited to get through this and um, uh, I, I, I feel very privileged uh, to be around at a time when it's available. It's only been available since, oh, was it 2006? I think it was, uh, it was published uh, for the very first time. Um, so, so yeah, it's, uh, it's really quite wonderful. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and don't forget to leave a, a thumbs up if you did and uh, to subscribe down below uh, if you haven't already. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.